Welcome back, guys, to the third, fourth, I think fifth, whenever the hell it is, triple nuclear. This time on the map, Cargo, another AN-94. You know, it's probably the best gun to get the triple nuclear with. I have a few topics that I want to talk about in this commentary, so they will go down, you know. I don't know if they'll last the entire time, but it will work. In this commentary, I also have a comrade in crime, Jessam. What is up, faggot? Uh, yep, so this is going to be a dual com with my Scottish buddy. He's from Scotland, if you didn't know. And we have a few topics to talk about. First off, let's hope I put it up. There is a combat record of this player. You will notice he doesn't reverse boost. Why well, can't you fucking dicks? But you he doesn't reverse boost. These stats are legit. Go to our 1,000 sub special, see his nukes to un nuke unstoppables, whatever the hell those things are. You'll see that. Totally legit, and on to the first topic. Th actually, this topic is just me. You know, I decided that this would be... A it's about shock charges. You know, everyone hates them. They're those stupid electric things that stun you, and then those faggots hiding behind them kill you. But the thing I have about them that's really messed up is, if you've ever noticed, sometimes you'll trigger them, but they will not hurt you, and then it goes blue all over your face. The problem I have with that is, you know, on the back of, like, your game manual that no one ever reads anymore, it probably said, there's, like, a warning, you might get seizures from this game, we're not held responsible. You know, I know that's there, but from the, like, for all of these, this game and all of the CODs I've ever played, there's ra rarely ever been anything to cause a seizure, but those shock charges just go blue, and I swear, I go cross-eyed and just start foaming at the mouth whenever I see them. That is a real problem, Treyarch, I do not need to see... Foam coming out of my mouth, you know, somebody walks by, they see me foaming, it's, it's not okay. I don't get the seizures, but I'm sure someone else has. There still is a warning on the back, no excuse, you shouldn't have those electric bombing things just trying to invade my space. Okay, well the next topic is, with Jessam at least, it's about toughness and headshots. Not having toughness will give you headshots. What are your opinions on that shit? My opinions are, when I've got toughness... I don't get headshots. When people that have no hands have not got toughness, they get headshots. <laughs> Even with the sniper. Before, you know, I was I was wrong with my double nuke attempt. I never get it. This guy's sniping. He's proning level 13. You know, lobby's match, rank matchmaking doesn't work. I shot him. Flies to my head. One shot kill. You know, it might have been with a sniper. But nonetheless, I think it was still pretty stupid. You know, the flinch in this game. What would you compare it to? Like what card? The, the flinch in this game is just unbearably bad. If you, the difference between toughness and no toughness is just... It's not even fucking describable. It's like people with no hands and no fingers. They just play with their toes. They're the only people that can't use toughness. That's it's how I see it. Most, yeah, most people use game. fast hands. And then it just fucks it up. See, we do have a triple nuke on this channel, the last one. No, the prior one by Scooby Snackers was without toughness. Now, Jessam loves the opinion he puts on that video. What do you say to that? I have no fucking idea how he did it. I have no fucking idea how he got that triple nuclear. I can't get one nuclear without toughness. I mean, I've been rolling with no toughness, no perks and attachments, trying to get diamond camo, and I just can't kill anyone. That's... Unbelievable, and I don't even think doing that gameplay, you know, he even got a headshot. It does happen a lot. It's happened to me five times yesterday. I counted. I counted every single time. And that was to everyone who killed me who didn't have toughness. In this gameplay, you can see right there he's running with scavenger and toughness, which is a great combination and the most recommended for getting triple nukes. You know, and a lot of things people say is triple nukes are always done against bad players. No shit. Thanks for the Captain Obvious. You will not get this against an MLG Pro team, or one that even sweats. You know, I did go 56-1 and one against a team using uh, RPGs. Jessam, with his no perks and attachments, didn't do too well to that. That was pretty funny. I started off badly, and then I just started, like, avoiding the routes that they were running, because there was a guy running about with an RPG in his shoulder, I think he was fucking in the Jihad or something like that, having the best time. I think that should be all about that toughness thing. Please, Treyarch, just reduce the flinch without having toughness just a little bit. Or get rid of the fact that it 
gives you an instant headshot almost in, instantaneously. I don't even know how to say that word. But it's happened so many times before. It happens nearly every time somebody who doesn't know how to play, they just hip fire, get a headshot. The gun is almost perfect where they project it will land on their stomach and then they'll aim at your stomach, you'll get they'll get shot and it goes right to their head. And I just find that to be complete bullshit. The second the the final topic I have to say is the Treyarch patching the weapons. Now what what are the guns they patched? You know the MSMC, the, PDW and they made all the new friendly guns fucking stronger. Yeah, all the assault rifles, almost all, but the FAL and SMR were buffed. Jeez. The LMGs were Yeah, buffed. LMGs were made quick draw faster or just ADSing um, faster. I think it was the... the and range damage. Than, I'm sure the strafing was made faster as well. Yeah, and the damage at range on the QBB was stronger. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. It's already OP. It's got quick yeah. reload. If you it's put... It's good, good size mag and... OP. With rapid fire, oh my god, you'll tear through an enemy with an... A, I blink. You know, the submachine guns they patched, you know, I could see originally the PDW and MSMC were just, oh my god. But then they proceeded to patch them a second and even a third time, if I'm not mistaken, making the guns just, like, can you just please test the game thoroughly and so we don't have to cry every time you guys patch it? What they do with the PDW? Recoil and damage, if I'm not mistaken? Uh, right, see if you go back and you play single player and you use the PDW. I had no recoil, fair enough, but what they've done to it is they've put so much recoil on it, when you shoot, it bounces up and to the right. So it's basically uncontrollable, unless you're at like, a really close range. Yeah, the MSMC, you know, I can see that a little bit. It is still controllable in 1v1 gunfights, but what it used to do, you know, cut down a whole team, it can't do that. It jumps up to up into the left, if I'm not mistaken, which is yeah. just the worst thing ever, when the recoil goes either left or right, that's just uncontrollable. They made the FAL a little bit weaker, if I'm not mistaken. You know, it's garbage now, semi-garbage. I used it when it was overpowered. That thing was unbelievable. I'm glad they passed it the first time. Only one I've ever complained about. The SMR, did they make that weaker, if I'm not mistaken? I swear they did. I, I think they, they patched it with select fire, but they didn't think of fixing the hit, the hit detection on it, because it's got the worst hit detection known to man. It does. Thanks to this game's great engine, you know, at Treyarch, it is the first bullet in almost every clip of a semi-automatic. It's been in MW2 too. That's the only game I noticed it in as well. And maybe MW3 with the MK48. The first bullet never lands. You know, I think it's something they put into the game on purpose because I guess people can do that double shot really quick. The SMR is a two-shot gun, but it can... It, oh, it's just unbelievable. And what they do? They made the scar better? Are you kidding? They made the scars long range um, kill time quicker. But now all the people who use target finders with scar H's can basically kill you in two bullets across. They became the new uh, LMGs and the MK40A. Let's emphasize on that gun. Let's make ADS a little bit quicker. Why don't we? Oh my god. Let's see, that gun is the most overpowered gun I have ever seen. I mean, you can drop people in, what, two bullets? Two, two, two to three, accurately. You know, it's like every gun hit, every bullet hit markers. And you put a target finder on that, and you got the Antichrist of COD, I'm telling you. Not even a target finder, you can use the dual band scope, and you can still fucking outgun people across the map. Yeah, supposedly I heard that Optic got beat by a te team using that, and they started using it, and obviously... It started working. So, clearly, if they use it, it's got to be something quite beautiful. And, you know, they really need to patch those LMGs. They're just not working. The LSAT, the MK48. You know, the hammer, um, I think it's a little bit balanced. More balanced than the other LMGs. But the QBB, oh. I would compare the hammer to the Scar H. It's, op it's not OP because it's an LMG, but I think the, all the LMGs should be as powerful as the hammer. Yeah, I relate it to the AN because of its first burst ability, you know. A few first shots go faster. See what I'm saying there? And it has a really slow fire once those first bursts go. And this is the end of the dual com. Time's running out in this gameplay. This is our fifth triple nuke on Xbox. Thank you, Amp, for bashing us. We love you, too. Suck dick, whatever. 
Yeah. This is our last, no, it's not our last dual com. I hope you enjoyed what we bitch 